Hey everyone, my name is Melissa Herrera. I'm a developer relations engineer for Langflow. And today I'm really excited to show you a new component that we've added with this latest Langflow release, which is the graph rag component. Now within Langflow, we've already had the capability to build your rag pipelines. We have a bunch of vector stories already embedded within Langflow. Now with this graph rag component, we can build on top of that, increase our accuracy, also add this idea of relationships amongst our data, and directly integrate it with our existing databases. So let's get started. So what you're looking at here looks like a typical vector store retrieval, but notice we now have our new graph component. So this graph component, it actually references directly from a vector store. And as you see on the left side here with our components, we have a bunch that are directly integrated into Langflow already. But for this example, we are using AstraDB. So we have some information already loaded up in there. Um, we have this kind of historical data set. Um, it gives us information about historical figures. And in the content itself, we have a biography of them. It's referencing different places, maybe their date of birth, maybe different figures that they were associated with. And it's also creating the vector. So you could still perform your vector search or semantic searches within Langflow as well, referencing this existing data set. With this metadata, and I scroll over here, we now have these relationships like people, like places, like what else is here, dates or events. And this is captured within the metadata, which will now enable our graph rag or graph traversal um, through this existing data set. So I'm going to go back into the flow here. And to set it up, you just have to connect your vector store connection here. So again, we're using AstroDB, and I've linked it just by simply connecting this here. And it takes a search query directly from chat input. And you can now define the relationships, the edges, and the traversal strategies directly in the component here. So we're going to be focusing on places. So if you saw in the metadata, I showed that there's places that it was able to pull from that existing content. And we are going to take those results, parse them. So just pull out the text, um, put them through a prompt. So the prompt is very simple. Given the context above, answer the question. So it takes the context, which are the search results from the graph traversal, and then the question that the user is asking, puts it through a LLM, and then we get the response. So let's try that out. So I can ask a question like, what are the places related to Plato and his associates. So here is the response that we get, and it's a really great response, actually. We have all of the places that are associated with Plato um, based off of the data set that we have. And it, ha it gives us really great context, but it's also very meaningful context, because as you remember, we define those places and a, a bunch of other metadata, but since we are looking on places, I can peek into our parser component here and just see the information that it grabbed to answer the question. So it's using the relationship or the edges that it had with our places in the metadata um, and using the graph traversal to retrieve that information and then give us this very meaningful contextual answer that is a step up from our typical vector search. So one thing with vector search is that it's really great for semantic searching, but it doesn't capture relationships such as pronouns, proper names, company names, document structure, and things like that. So now we have unlocked this capability within Langflow. So that was just a quick overview of our graph rag component. I hope you all get to try it out for yourselves. As always, connect with us on our Discord to give us your feedback, ask your questions, and we're super excited for you to try it out. Happy coding!